hi everyone so in this video we are going to practice some questions which are related to lecture 1 and lecture 2 the theory which we have discussed in the previous two videos which were lecture 1 and lecture 2 um, now in this video we will be solving questions and these questions will help you emphasize on uh, the knowledge which we have gained in the topic so starting from question number one uh, we have uh, these two questions for MCQs as uh, in question number three the SI unit of specific heat capacity is joule per kilogram per Kelvin and we have to highlight the uh, unit which is actually SI base unit out of these four options so starting from the units which is given joule per kilogram per Kelvin as you can see that joule is not SI base unit because we have just five SI base units in our course which is meter kilogram second Kelvin and ampere so by the definition of uh, joule as we can see joule is actually the SI unit for work so by the equation W is equal to F into D we can find out the SI base unit for joule so joule is equal to kg ms minus uh, 2 times meter because work done is F into D instead of F I have written kg ms minus 2 and instead of distance I have written meter so after simplification it becomes kg m square s minus 2 so instead of joule in the equation joule per kilogram per kelvin instead of joule I have written kg m square s minus 2 while kilogram minus 1 and k minus 1 which is kelvin minus 1 will be written as it is after simplification it will become m square s minus 2 k minus 1 so according to this c seems to be the correct answer now in question number one which is the next question the prefixes nano micro and pico are often used with units which row shows their correct values i have already told you that nano is actually exponent minus 9 micro is exponent minus 6 and pico is exponent minus 12 so by this c is the correct answer and it is a fact moving on to next question you have to identify which unit is equivalent to coulomb so we have two equations in which charge is actually uh, expressed one is q is equal to it this is definition of current you know that i is equal to q upon t current is equal to rate flow of charge so in by when you will make q subject it will become q is equal to it so q is in coulombs while i is in ampere t is in seconds this shows that coulomb is equal to ampere times second in option a it is written ampere per second which means a s minus one okay but we can see that ampere is multiplied by second not divided by a second so a is the incorrect answer now we have to see uh, if a is incorrect which unit uh, out of these three options can be correct so by the definition of electromotive force v is equal to w upon q voltage is equal to work done per unit charge so by making q subject q will become w upon v so according to this joule per volt is actually equivalent to coulombs so by this option b is the correct answer moving to on to next question you have given quantities and units efficiency has no unit so it is correct but we have to find out the option which is which is having incorrect unit moment of force as you know that moment is actually the product of force and perpendicular distance of force from the pivot so it will it is newton multiplied by meter but they have written nm minus one momentum which you have not studied yet but it is actually uh, mass multiplied by velocity when you will be simplifying it, it will become kg ms minus one so it is equivalent to newton second which is correct that's why this option is incorrect because we have to find out the option in which the unit is incorrect work done is measured in joules so it is a correct unit so out of these four options option a has correct unit option c option d has correct unit while option b has incorrect unit because correct unit of um, moment of force is actually newton meter and they have written newton per meter so option b is correct now in question number one they have given us frequency and we have to time uh, find out time period 
so by the equation f is equal to 1 over t we can write t is equal to 1 over f and frequency is given 5 gigahertz giga is expon uh, exponent 9 right so by solving you will obtain 2 exponent minus 10 seconds right these are four options by, by which we have to figure out which option is equal to 2 exponent minus 10 if I simplify option A it becomes 200 exponent minus 12 which is equal to 2 exponent minus 10 seconds so it is correct while option B is 2 exponent minus 9 option C becomes 2 exponent minus 8 option D becomes 2 exponent minus 2 seconds so option A is correct now in this equation in this question they have given you an equation which in which c is equal to b times t cube where c is heat capacity they have given you the uh, unit for spe specific uh, heat capacity which is joule per kilogram per kelvin and you have to find out uh, the si base units for b while t is temperature which uh, has si unit kelvin now if there is an equation in which you have to find out the unit for a uh, variable but the unit the variable is not made subject so the first step which you will be doing is to make this variable subject so I have made this subject b is equal to c upon t q so the first step which you will be doing is actually making the variable subject of the equation then you have to proceed by substituting the variables with their correct units that are given c is actually joule per kilogram per kelvin so joule per kilogram per kelvin divided by kelvin cube because temperature is in kelvin and uh, they have uh, given uh, now joule is actually si unit not si base unit so we, we will replace joule by joules equal to kgm square s minus 2 which we have already found when we were solving w is equal to f into d joule is equal to kgm s minus 2 multiplied by m so it becomes kgm square s minus 2 now instead of joule i have written kgm square s minus 2 then kg minus 1 k minus 1 and the denominator k cube after simplification you will get m square s minus 2 k minus 4 so it becomes d now in this equation p is equal to k rho a v to the power n we have to find out the value of n and this equation is a homogeneous equation it, it means whatever unit is on the left hand side will be equal to the units on the right hand side and they have given you a condition that k is a constant without units so we will not write k in this equation because it, it doesn't have any units in it so finding out the SI base unit for power power is actually work done by unit time and it becomes joule per second so joule is kg m square s minus 2 divided by s which is kg m square s minus 3 so substituting p with the si base units of p p is actually power it is given kg m square s minus 3 density is equal to mass per unit volume so it is kg upon meter cube and you can write it as kg m minus 3 so kg m minus 3 area is meter square speed is ms minus 1 and to the power n now after simplification you will have s minus 3 on the left hand side and m minus 3 times ms minus 1 whole power n on the right hand side if you shift m minus 3 on the left hand side it will become denominator equals to ms minus 1 and if you make this denominator numerator so it will, the power will be opposite m cube s, s minus 3 is equal to m s minus 1 whole power n now if you take the power common which is 3 it will become m s minus 1 whole power 3 equals to m s minus 1 whole power n when the bases are same the power becomes equal so n is equal to 3 now uh, we have to find out the si base units for resistance by Ohm's law you know that R is equal to V upon I right but V is uh, a quantity that has a unit volt and volt is not the SI base unit it is SI unit so for, for the unit uh, for the SI base unit of resistance first you have to find out the SI base unit for V 
so by an other equation p is equal to i v we can fi find that v is equal to p upon i and p is kg m square s minus 3 right so ampere is actually the si base unit for current so after simplification it will become kg m square s minus 3 and a minus 1 right so if we substitute v with kg m square s minus 3 a minus 1 divided by ampere so it will become kg m square s minus 3 a minus 2 so b is the correct answer now we have to find out which pair contains one derived unit and one si base unit so ampere is si coulomb is derived si 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 derived derived so option a is correct because one is si and the other one is derived now in this equation you have given you 2000 micro volts right micro is actually this symbol is micro and if you substitute micro with its values it will become 2000 exponent minus 6 volts after simplification it will become 2 exponent minus 3 volts exponent minus 3 is milli so it's 2 milli volts now in this equation uh, this is similar to the question which we have done v is equal to k under root p upon rho whole power n eliminating k because k is a constant that has no units so delta p upon rho instead of v i have written ms minus 1 and delta p is actually change in pressure pressure is force upon area so kg ms minus 2 divided by area which is m square it becomes kg ms minus m minus 1 s minus 2 right so substituting the value of uh, pressure with kg m minus 1 s minus 2 and density is kg m minus 3 after simplification you will have ms minus 1 on left hand side m square s minus 2 whole power n on the right hand side because m minus 1 denominator is m minus 3 when you will substitute this denominator to numerator it will become m cube m cube and m minus 1 will be simplified as m square so m square s minus 2 whole power n on the left hand side you have ms minus 1 on the right hand side if you take 2 common so it will become ms minus 1 whole power 2n if the bases are same power is equal so 2n is equal to 1 and n is equal to half similarly in this question they have given 1.5 exponent 11 meters and you have to convert it into giga meters right i told you when i was uh, teaching the theory if you have to add the prefix in the unit you have to divide the magnitude with the value of the prefix so 1.5 exponent 11 is the magnitude and you will divide the magnitude with the value of the prefix which is exponent 9 so you can write giga with it so it, it will become 150 giga meters in the second question they have given the distance from the center of the earth to the satellite is 42.3 megameter and the radius is given 6380 kilometers in this value kilo is prefix and this is not part of unit so you will note down this value as 6380 exponent 3 meters similarly 42.3 mega meters mega is not part of unit meter is unit mega is not so mega is actually part of magnitude so you will write 42.3 exponent 6 when you are writing the value of uh, the distance from the center to the satellite now according to the situation 6380 exponent 3 meters is the radius and for uh, 42.3 exponent 6 meters is the distance from the core to the to the satellite now you have to find out the time taken for the microwave signal to travel to the satellite and back in order to find out time you should know the distance the signal has traveled signal has been sent from the surface to the satellite not from the center so we have to find out the distance traveled by this uh, signal from the surface to the satellite which will be the difference between 42.3 exponent 6 and 6380 exponent 3 right so distance from surface to satellite is actually 42.3 exponent 6 minus 6380 exponent 3 meters time is distance upon speed so this value is divided by the speed speed is actually since the wave is microwave so speed will be 3 exponent 8 meters per second 
by this you will find out the value which is 0 0.12 but you have to find out the time the signal has taken to travel to the satellite and back so you will multiply it by 2 because this is the time taken by the signal to travel from the surface to the satellite now you have to find out the time taken by the signal to return to the earth so it will become 0 0.24 so in the next question they have given an equation in which you have to find out you have to show that C has no unit as I've already told you whenever you have to find the unit for any variable you have to make it subject so making C subject V square is equal to C P upon rho because on the right hand side square root so I have squared both sides so V square is equal to C P upon rho square is actually uh, square cancels the root C is equal to V square rho upon P V square is M square S minus 2 because V is M S minus 1 it is a square so you will write M square S minus 2 density is kg m minus 3 and p is pressure which is kg m minus 1 s minus 2 we have done the working to find out the value of this after cancellation you will see that there is no variable no si base unit left because m square m minus 3 becomes m minus 1 in the denominator m minus 1 is already present so everyone cancels out so one is left no units underline all the scalar quantities energy is a scalar power is a scalar while acceleration has direction momentum has direction and weight has direction so scalar quantities doesn't have direction and these quantities are energy and power so that that was all for uh, lecture one and lecture two i think i've covered uh, almost everything which is required so if you uh, have any question in your mind feel free to ask and please subscribe the channel so that you can be updated whenever I make any video. Thanks in advance.